Welcome to Coffee Break, five minutes with God, five minutes in the Word of God, five minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. We're going through the book of Psalms, and we are in Psalm 9, beginning in verse 9. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. God is a great place for safety in hard times. You know, a refuge will not make the threat go away, but it keeps the threat from destroying the one who is in that refuge. So God may not cause your problems to disappear, but if you belong to him because you have repented and received Christ as your Lord, Lord and Savior, then he will protect you through those troubles and he will get you through one way or another. He'll preserve you through them. He'll preserve certainly your soul and your spirit and ultimately your body too because you will be raised from the dead. You can't lose if you don't quit on Jesus because he is your refuge, your eternal refuge. Eternity will pay the dividends for making God your refuge. You say, how do I get into that refuge? Well, number one, you get into that refuge by repenting and receiving Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior because then you enter into his family and all the promises of God are yours in Christ Jesus, including forgiveness, escaping hell, a home in heaven, life on the new earth and a resurrected body. All sorts of wonderful things are yours. When you receive Christ, he becomes your eternal refuge. And there's another sense that you become his refuge when you live for him in this life, when you put him first when you stay away from sin as a Christian, and if and when you fall, you repent right away and confess right away. Because if you do that, if you walk with Jesus in holiness, confessing immediately when you fail, then God will be your refuge and he will protect you from the natural fallout that occurs from living a sinful life. He doesn't promise no trouble at all in this life. In fact, just the opposite if you live holy. But he does promise to keep you from the consequences of sin from that trouble. So God is a great place. And when you are going through hard times, if you are close to him, you can rest in him and you can have peace in the midst of those hard times, knowing that, number one, anything that touches you that you don't like, he will use for good, long-term spiritual good. And number two, whatever the trouble may be for you, it's only temporary and it's going to be followed by a glorious existence in a resurrected body that will no longer be sick, will no longer be threatened, will no longer die no problems as far as that's concerned. That's what happens when you make God your refuge. It's a wonderful thing to put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ because you are in Christ at that moment. When God looks at you, he sees the righteousness of his son, Jesus Christ. He sees the holiness of his son, the perfect morality of his son, you stand before him as clean, as spotless as the Lord Jesus Christ. And so you are in that refuge and he will take care of you, not just in this life, but forever. He will preserve you because you belong to him. It's a wonderful thing. You can study further at thebibleversebyverse.com. Study the whole Bible with me. And if you want to be a part of this ministry, pray for me. Pray for God's Word. Click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com and prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time.